Welcome back to TalkNorth.com. Thank you for listening. If you can, please download before you listen. It helps our business. I'd also like to thank our producer, Brandon Morton, and let you know if you'd like to sponsor this program or any of the programs on the network. You can reach me at jsouhan47 at gmail.com. I woke up this morning with the sun down shining in him. So, Roy, I had an interesting conversation with someone this week. Uh, someone highly intelligent, highly accomplished, loves baseball, loves the Twins. And we got in a conversation, and this person said this to me. They said, all right, I know they had to make some trades, but why would you trade Escobar for guys who you know you're hoping will be as good as Escobar three years, four years down the road? And I think... It, it, it gave me a window into the fact that it's not just like Twitter trolls who don't get it, who think the twins are just trying to save money or just, you know, just making moves for no pure, purely logical reason. People, really intelligent people and baseball fans don't always get it. So, you know, before we get to everything else going on right now in the world, we're going to talk about Tyler Austin, baseball at large, probably going to talk some music and movies, whatever else. Let's delve further into that. I do want to introduce Roy. This is Roy Smalley's Chin Music. It's our baseball show on the TalkNorth.com uh, podcast network. Everything you want in Minnesota sports and business. You find everything at TalkNorth.com. Subscribe at iTunes. Subscribe to your favorite podcast app. Uh, rate us on iTunes. You can find our stuff on social media if you follow us there. Uh, thanks to Brandon Morton, our longtime producer. And, uh, and if you listen to the shows, please download. It's a better listening experience. It's also better for us. We do appreciate it. Thanks to BarryCoffee.com, WizKids.tech and State Farm Agent Tony Hoagland for sponsoring the program. If you'd like to sponsor the program or any others on the network, email me at jsouhan47 at gmail.com. So, Roy, I, I thought that gave me a, a window into the fact, even if you're a baseball fan, even if you have watched the Twins operate for decades, you still might not really understand the philosophy behind it. I'm going to offer my quick take, then I'm going to let you expound on it. Eduardo Escobar is going to be a free agent. He's having a great year. He has some value. Whether you keep kept him through the end of this year or you traded him, you have about the same chance to sign him as a free agent. To me, it's the most obvious of moves, not not the most difficult to understand. Now I'll let you tell me where I'm wrong or, or what I what more we should think about that deal. No, I don't think you're wrong at all. I think you're I think you're right. Escobar should be uh, I, I think the easiest uh, one to uh, to understand. You start with a, uh, a player who's 30 years old, and uh, understand that the the time that he will be productive is starting to get uh, limited. You don't know for sure what it is, but he's not 25, and he's. Uh, He's having a, a, a nice year in his free year, as you say, and and you you've got to you're going to lose him for nothing, or be able to sign him back. And I think you're right. You probably have fifty uh, fifty odds. It could go. You have as good a chance of signing him as as not. Uh, and you have, you're in a situation where you need quality bodies in your uh, organization and and maybe we maybe we should have started there with the 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 whole conversation um I'll, I'll harken back to a few shows ago when we talked about the uh moves at the deadline and we looked at the 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 teams that made big trades to get big name people to help them in the uh, in their pennant uh, drive hopes to get to the, to, to the postseason, and all the teams that traded for frontline players were were those teams that they had two characteristics: one, they were at or near the top of their divisions or at their wild card races, and uh, two, they had players of value in their minor league system uh, that could command uh, the, uh, the 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 trading. Uh, of the of the front line players and the the teams that traded the front line players were teams that were not going to be uh, in the playoff. So now you look at the Twins organization and say where are they 
and the uh, Falvey Levine uh, uh, front office, I think, correctly understood when they came in that the Twins w- were bereft of uh, of talent throughout their organization relative to organizations that are in in real, very solid shape, and they need to start getting uh, bodies. They 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 did that last year at the trade deadline, and then. Uh, and then the players uh, got uh, got hot, and they they went on that run that got them to the to the playoffs. But this year it wasn't happening, and we've talked about it the last you know three or four years they've they've really only had one really terrific half a season. That's all that, that the production that they've gotten. And so the I think the front office that you know, rightfully decided we've got to get bodies so we can get in the position of uh, like these other teams when the uh, the young players that we have at the major league roster start living up to the potential that we think they have and they and they play us into contention we will have one of two things going on we'll have young players that can come up uh, in to the big leagues from our organization and help that drive or we will have enough bodies where we can go out and get that key guy just like the uh, the front runners did um, and uh, to help uh, put us over over the top. So, in letting Escobar and all the other guys go for the nine or ten or eleven players they got in return, uh, if three of them become big league players and and three or four of them become good enough to to be uh, throw-ins in a trade that helps them get somebody down the line, then I think. Uh, the, the, We'll see, you know, the logic in, in all this, but it's true. We we won't see that for uh, we we won't see that for a couple of years, right? And and to put a bow on that, I think Escobar, you know, the idea that Escobar was just naturally going to resign with the Twins is just one of those. To me, it's a little naive. Uh, they, these players have agents, and they just traded away. <laughs> you know, they they also just traded away his best friend on the team, Brian Dozier. Uh, you know, they think Miguel Sano is going to play third base for him next year. They think Polanco is going to be their shortstop. They think Nick Gordon or Logan Forsythe or somebody else is going to be the second base. I just, you know, I, I, to me, it was it was a very logical move. Even if it, And here's the thing. Even if it doesn't work out, even if you, they, you end up not getting good players because they don't develop right or they get hurt or whatever, to me, it was still a logical deal. Oh, I think it was eminently uh, logical. And, and uh you can't – here's the thing. In, in this day and age, uh, uh, the, I think the front office has become uh, – it, it, it's, it, it's, it's a cool thing to me because I think uh, for uh, front offices now, the, uh, the onus has put, been put back on them to be talented, to be good at what their job is. Uh, and it, the job is going to be, first and foremost, to figure out how to develop a – uh, a, a draft, a, a a a scouting system, and a draft process to not make any mistakes in in your drafting. You, it, they're going to have to be really good at drafting players. You can't miss anymore. And uh, with your number one pick, for example, and in picks down in the uh, draft order, you're going to have to be you're going to have to be good at that and get and 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 get, find, have some real finds and that's that's the way you you're going to build up your long term viability as a contending uh, organization and then you're going to have to make these kinds of you know, you have, have the courage to make these kinds of trades where you supplement young players you get through the draft th- with young players you get through uh, through trades when uh, players of value have gotten. Uh, to an age or a uh, or a desirability from a certain club where you can get real value in return uh, in the form of a young player and and that's you know that's how the the twins and everybody else are going to have to are going to have to do this and and I think um, the front office whether or not they've made the right you know trades or not I think the 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 thought process and is is the right one and I think you know the proof will be in the pudding in terms of the draft and whether any of these young kids that uh, you know for whom they they traded were you know are going to be uh, are, are going to turn out to be big league players. But I think the, the process we're getting a, a view of what the process is going to need to be to be a a you know a perennial contending team. 
We always tell you about different aspects of Berry Coffee, berrycoffee.com and their business. Uh, they helping businesses uh, provide great coffee, great tea, uh, great snacks uh, to you know, you can do it. You can use the stuff in your home, as Roy knows. But uh, you know, the the heartbeat of their business is helping businesses. Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota businesses uh, supply their employees with quality stuff. Uh, one thing we probably haven't mentioned enough over the time is that it's not just coffee, it's not just tea, it's not just equipment, uh, it's not even just their market uh, system where you can set up your own little shop right in your own business. Uh, they also have very fine juices, Welch's juice. Florida's natural juices, which is something I always drink when I'm down in Florida for spring training, Snapple, V8, Nesquik milk, Red Bull, and you can even get Coke and Pepsi. I mean, they have uh, the bulk of the products they provide are very healthy, but if you want your uh, if you want your caffeine sugar fix in the form of a Coke or a Pepsi, you can get that too at a good price through Berry Coffee. So check out BerryCoffee.com. I don't know if there's anything you want to add to that, Roy. Uh, we've got some, uh, no, you've, you've said it beautifully, but I, I, I will say I'm excited about, uh, a, uh, a, a development here. They're adding a, an, another, uh, roaster and roasting facility, a state of the art, uh, roasting, uh, equipment that's actually, I, I believe it's, uh, I believe it's on the boat heading, uh, heading this way. Wow. And here's exciting is I haven't, I haven't told you about this, but, uh, Steve Bram, the uh, owner of uh, Berry Coffee, and I have been talking about uh, when the when the roaster gets here and their new f- uh, uh, facility, and they uh, get it all set up. We'll do another show from uh, from there and talk about how how cool uh, how cool this this thing is. So and and how great the coffee is. So I'm looking awesome. forward to that. This is the last time we did a show from a Berry Coffee location. I got to drink great coffee right out of the tap. That was probably the best coffee I've ever had. Yeah, for sure. Uh, by the way, you can follow Roy Smalley on Twitter at Roy Smalley numeral five. Roy Smalley numeral five. I recommend you do that for uh, updates, insights, everything else, and and you know, uh, it's an easy way to access our show as well. Uh, let's get into Tyler Austin. Uh, he, you know, again, you know, yes, small sample size, but to me, he's done as well as you could have hoped. Getting to the Twins. Uh, showing power to all fields. You know, he strikes out, but when he's hitting home runs, the strikeouts aren't as big a a, uh, a concern. What's your evaluation of him so far? Well, I better than I better than even I thought. And I've been a I've been a fan of his for a while. When I saw him with the Yankees, I I thought that uh, had a uh, he had a chance to be a, a a premier power hitter at some point in time. Uh, he was he's blocked. He was blocked there with the with the Yankees and not going anywhere and. And um, so I think his numbers in terms of strikeouts and batting average were, you, you just don't know for sure. When the guy's not playing every day, it's hard to get any kind of consistency. But what he did show was, um, you know, a home run per at bat ratio, even when he wasn't playing all the time, that was impressive. And I just liked his strength and, and how he, he appeared to go about it. Uh, he's been terrific since he's, since he's been here. He has a tendency to be a, a home run hitter slash strikeout uh, guy, uh, as you know, many guys are uh, nowadays. But since he's been with the Twins, he's shown the uh, ability and at least the uh, the willingness uh, when he gets to two strikes to uh, not be totally feeble and you know, just continue to try to hit uh, you know home runs to uh, his pull field and and. Consequently, you know, swing and miss most everything that goes up there, which we also see guys do. But he's uh, waited longer. He's used the uh, middle of the field, and then yesterday he hit that bomb to center field, and then a, a, an out high outside corner strike that, with two strikes that he flipped in the right field seats, just because of his his uh, strength and and uh, his ability to get the big end of the bat to the ball. So uh, I think there's a lot there. I think there's an upside there. And who knows? He he may never he may never get it in terms of uh, being able to um, give up the inside part of the plate and and uh, always want to hit the ball, you know, hit home runs to left field as we've we've seen a lot of guys. But it it looks like he has a chance to not be just that. It looks like he has the the temperament and the willingness and the and uh, the energy around 
being a, a more, a, a little bit more of a, a complete hitter at, 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 and not 